All right, now we're gonna do our mist coat, uh, sprayed face coat. Uh, what we're looking to achieve here is enough fluid consistency to spray good out of the gun and get a good pattern um, and still stick to verticals. So we're gonna be anywhere from about seven and a half to eight, maybe a little over eight pounds of water to get the desired consistency. That skin pack has already been removed. Make it easier for you guys to see, we're gonna throw a little bit of pigment in here. And again, I wanna put in most of my water, but not all of it. Another thing you really want to do when you're, especially when you're spraying a face coat, is scrape your bucket to make sure you don't have any unmixed material on the edge. All right, I'll mix it up, let that sit, get our stuff ready to spray. Go. All right, so we broke up our fall set, now we're about ready to spray. Uh, with this particular gun, you're gonna wanna be somewhere around 25 to 30 PSI. Gets a nice spray. Yeah, we So if you're looking to get a perfect finish every time, um, once you get a lot of experience with spraying, you could possibly skip this step, but we recommend brushing out your face coat. What that does is kind of compacts everything, gets all the air voids out, makes a little, your face coat a little bit denser. Nothing too crazy, I'm not getting carried away, I'm just, one quick wipe everywhere. Pay a little extra attention to your edges. Corners. Now we're ready to spray a little more on there. All right, so now once you've brushed everything out, uh, you shouldn't have to wait. You're, it should set relatively quick. What you want to do now is cover up all your brush marks and try to get to where your face coat's around an eighth inch to three sixteenths. More like three sixteenths. We shoot for a little thicker if we can. That's that.